So thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video if you enjoyed it, if you felt it was useful. Now let's get into this. So, Kell Brook versus Terence Crawford. Now, that fight is reportedly, at least at this stage now, it's reportedly set to go. I want to say go, as in it's a done deal. The date they're given is November 14th, okay? Now, this fight looks likely to be on pay-per-view here in the UK and Ireland, okay? Now, we are going to have, as I said earlier, I think I said it in a few past videos, we're going to have quite a number of pay-per-views uh, coming towards the end of the year, which is surprising. Um, it's not surprising for you know pay-per-views to happen you know in quick succession or in frequent succession. That's happened before. It would have happened um, in May and June of this year if things had been normal. But uh, in today's economy, you would imagine that this kind of thing is not going to be something that's going to happen too often moving forward. So the date they're given for this pay-per-view, uh, for the proposed fight day, I should say, is November 14th. Okay, now we are, we're, this would be in around a good time for the fight to get announced. If you want to get a bit of PR in, if you want to market the fight, um, you know, do all that kind of stuff, all that good stuff. This is being around the right time. Now, the interesting thing about this is, is that if it is on pay-per-view, it's not going to be on Sky pay-per-view. Or it's going to be on BT Sport pay-per-view, reportedly now anyway. That's what they're reporting uh, from, I think, Michael Benson reported on Twitter. So they're reporting that it's looking likely to be on BT Sport pay-per-view. Um, there are reasons around that. Uh, one is, of course, that the week after is Dylan White versus Pavekin on pay-per-view. And as I've said previously, I mean, actually, if you think about it like this, you're going to be going from October 31st to November 14th, which is a space of about two weeks. So, you know, pay-per-view with two weeks apart, and then you're going to have two pay-per-views a week apart on the same network. Yeah, I, I don't think Sky could do that. And as well as that, Brooke is with Eddie Hearn. He's nothing to do with Frank Warren, and obviously Frank Warren is BT Sport. You know, he does the pay-per-views there. He does, that's his platform. But Crawford is a Bob Arum fighter. Bob Arum and Frank Warren have a working relationship. Whilst we have seen Bob Arum fighters fight on Sky on Eddie Hearn shows and on Eddie Hearn pay-per-views such as Vasyl Lomachenko, it's also not been uncommon for Eddie Hearn fighters to fight on BT Sport. As you may remember, Amir Khan had a three-fight deal with Matchroom. This was not a two-fight, it was a three-fight deal with Matchroom. He fought Phil Greco. He fought Samuel Vargas, and then he fought Terence Crawford. That Terence Crawford fight was on BT Sport pay per view. Okay, and that was he was still under the Matchroom banner, I believe, at the time. Obviously, after the three fight deal, that went away. So we've seen this happen before, and you know, I'm interested to see what price BT Sport do on it. Whether they go cheap or whether they go, you know, in around the same as Matchroom, if or Sky, if they do put this fight on pay per view. In terms of the fight itself, like it's a good fight. You know, definitely, uh, at least at welterweight, Kell Brook would be the best name on Terence Crawford's resume. It'd be interesting to see how Crawford deals with that because Crawford will not have fought anyone with the kind of physical strength as Kell Brook. I think that's fair to say. Kell Brook at 147 is very, very physically strong. He's been looking decent in terms of the shape he's been in in recent photos. He only fought back in... February, at the end of February, start of March, I think it was the end of February, he fought that uh, Mark DeLuca guy, he looked quite good in that, you know, I mean, the time out of the ring, he was everything for over a year, and that fight against Michael Zarafa, who's since gone on to actually prove to be not a bad fighter in his own right, he didn't look good in that fight, you know, he didn't look amazing, he looked a hell of a lot better against uh, DeLuca, well, DeLuca was a lot more easy, DeLuca was just a lot, not as good, you know, you wouldn't, you'd say out of the two, DeLuca and Zarafa, Zarafa's better, but, you know, Kell Brook, anyway, got the win that night. He didn't blow up in between fights. He's been in shape. He's been training, you know, as best he can during everything that's been going on. So, Brook, you would imagine he can get down to 147 reasonably comfortably. Maybe not comfortable, but reasonably straightforward. The whole notion that he was always struggling to make the weight, you know, at the end of the day, he ballooned up in weight so much in between fights that he was always going to struggle to get that weight off because he was... The, I'd say if Kell Brook... If Kell Brook walks around that will say 168 pounds, just give or take, we'll say that. And that's his natural kind of walk around in shape weight. He could probably get to 147 easier than if he's blowing up to about 180 and having to take off, you know, an additional stone on top of his natural walk around, you know, no fat weight. You're obviously going to struggle. So if he's been in shape, I'd imagine he'd make the weight quite 
quite straightforward you know it's never going to be straightforward but i'm sure he'd make 147 reasonably comfortably crawford we know um he's been coming up through the weight he's come up from lightweight so with crawford you would imagine that yeah it's fairly straightforward for him to do that weight but he's going to be trying to better errol spence errol spence took him 11 rounds errol spence early on in that fight was getting out boxed by kel brook you know kel brook was fighting very well in that early on in that fight i was giving kel brook most of the early rounds in that fight so he's going to go want to go in there he's going to want to try and outdo spence all right and i think spence will be fighting two weeks after against garcia so you know crawford will be wanting to make a statement against kel brook i imagine terence crawford will win this fight i really do i think he'll stop kel brook i think kel brook he is saying the hunger is there or the hunger is back but some of the stories i've heard about kel brook and some of the messages i've heard about him you know you wonder has even though he's not an old man in terms of his age i think he's still in his 30s i think he's what 33 34 and around that you would imagine that there's miles on the clock now and my question is are there too many miles to be competitive in this fight because crawford may very well be the best fighter kel brook has fought in terms of just pure technical ability pure talent you know triple g may have been the hardest puncher errol spence may have been the most physical but crawford may be the most complete that spence has fought and spence can definitely punch he'd probably be the hardest puncher that crawford's been in the ring with but you know you gotta you gotta imagine that crawford should have the tools to beat kel brook i reckon he'll probably stop kel brook truth be told but um you know it's an interesting fight it's a very interesting fight for me i'm looking forward to it um if it happens i'll be buying it you know i will and um yeah if it's on bt sports so be, be interesting to see the pricing on that be interesting to see if eddie hearn goes to that fight you know because you know eddie hearn is, is mr sky he's mr the zone so imagine bt sport broadcasting and there's eddie hearn sitting in the front row um i'd imagine eddie hearn would still because he has quite a good relationship with kel brook and you know kel brook's been one of the just one of the guys one of the first guys match room were ever promoting really i mean if you think back it was what it was matthew macklin carl Froch, kel brook aj to a little extent when this whole thing started out tommy coyle they were the guys who were headlining a lot of the shows you know back in the day back in the old matchroom shows so if this is kel brook swan song you know he'll go out with his promoter he'll i'm sure he'll give it a go but um i'd expect crawford to win that fight those are my thoughts on this let me know yours down below i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe of course if you are new if you're new to the channel if you enjoyed this if you like this content let me know in the comment section below i'm always happy to read your comments subscribe of course if you haven't already smashed the like button it does help out peace people as always i'll see you in the next video talk to you